I'm Blake. And I'm Jamie. And I start movies before she's ready. Yep. I guess so. <laughs> or blame me. We did that wrong. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, today is a very fun holiday day for us, and we're uh, we'll filming some videos today. And we are doing one today that I forgot. <laughs> oh, I remember. We are ranking books, uh, just random books, based off of purely their cover. Um, we're going to give them a, a star ranking of like one to five stars based off their cover. And maybe just, you know, throw on how much you either want to read a book or don't based off of, of what it looks like. Cool. Sound good? Yeah, good parameters sure. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll go first, which means I guess I'll show the book first and then Jamie will be ranking this here on a one to five star scale. Sounds good. All right. Ready? Ready. Boom. Oh, this one feels so cool. Oh, so the feeling helps there. I see. Yeah, it does. Okay, um, all right. And it's bumpy, the letters. I mm. Ooh, this is interesting. Like, there's like flowers growing out of the throne there. That's, that's a, a uh, yeah. interesting thing to it. Okay, and, and snakes, snakes on the bottom. the bottom. Okay. So, I'll give you an idea. This is not the first one of this series. Uh -huh. But last Christmas, you gave me 10 books. It was They were all first books of a series. Yes. And this was the first series I chose because of the cover. Oh. So, and that's not even the first one, but all of the covers of this book are awesome. I have to give it a five star. Five star cover. Yeah. Don't you think? And then I, once, once you get reading and you see why there's flowers and snakes and swords. I don't, I don't know if I'd go five star. Mm. Now, now the, the feel does help. Yes. Um, I think this one's like a three star for me. So lame. Um, really? Yeah. I just, I just don't think it, it quite does enough here for i mean there's a lot of going on on the throne but it just doesn't like i wouldn't walk past that and be like i need to read this book um it doesn't I, turn me away but it, it just it's just not not yeah. the one to do it for me so three stars for me what are you and you're this is a five star i think it's a five star out of ten okay no <laughs> just kidding okay five out okay. of five would it make you feel better if i said like four and a half i, I don't know five? like is this going to be your best cover or, um, or is no, everything five no, stars? There's better than the, there's Okay, fine. Four stars. <laughs> Four stars. You keep shaking the table Three stars. every time you hit the book on well, the table. Then they'll know when I'm hitting it on the table. It's like haptic feedback. Okay, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> uh, four stars. Okay, what do we got? Okay. Gideon. Gideon the Knight. Okay, let that me see this. cool looking. Um, you should edit this so the picture stays while we're talking about it. Like the whole time? Or mm -hmm. I could just hold it here the whole time. Oh, but you have to look at it. You have to like digest uh, that thing. Okay, maybe we'll give you... Maybe maybe I'll do that. I probably won't do that work. Um, <laughs> so, this is interesting. The more I look at this, the more uh, kind of intrigued I am by, with it. Um, it. It does feel a little maybe grim for what I would normally walk by and grab. Like the reflection of your phone. Whoa, yeah, I see it. Cool. Sorry. Do you guys see that? Yeah, you can see my like wallet thing on the back of my phone. We use a phone to film these. It's my phone. Um, and I'm going to edit that out anyway, so it doesn't matter here. Okay, maybe not. I'm lazy. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so, I, I don't know. It's a little, like, grim. And there's kind of like a biker cop thing going on in this person's face, it looks like it. Um, but but I'd still go pretty, pretty high here. There's nothing, you know, I actually think I'd only go about three stars here. I'd say about three. It's cool. Looking. It is cool, but it's not something that I'd like walk past and be like, "Yeah, I need that." Yeah. Um, it just it doesn't kind of grip me in that way. That's a good point. Um, also, I don't. The, the the cover is very slippery. Well, like the reflection, like it's it's a yeah, it's it's a very it's definitely cover. not a matte cover. And then it also has Jamie's favorite thing, this like short cover compared to the rest We're of the. We're doing a whole entire video on that because I can't stand it. It's like new as of like a year ago. All of a sudden, every single book has that. Yep, like it's a, an interesting thing. So, so I think I'm going a three star. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. This one, I don't know if I've ever heard of this before. Um, the Goose Girl. <laughs> I have such a hard problem with this cover. So I read this book like 15 years ago or something. Okay. Loved it. The cutest thing ever. Um, so when I ordered it and it came as this cover, this is a very YA cover where it's not really, I don't know, that this is purely marketing and I don't love that they did that to the cover of mm. this book. Like so you, I would have so you loved it. You don't think this is a original. YA book? No, I mean, it's fine. It fits YA, but like, I just don't love, like it looks like there's magic or there's, there's, Ah. Yeah, so I, w I would think this is like whimsical fantasy. There's a castle, the, the goose girl. Like, I, I would think magic, maybe I... princess, something there. Um, maybe I don't remember it well enough to say there's no magic, but I don't think there's magic. I mean, uh, 
I don't know how to pronounce any of this, but but Andori Kildara, the crown princess of Kodri, spends the first years of life listening to ant stories and learning the language of birds and swans. Sounds kind of magical to me. Yeah. Um, okay, okay, it's not magic in the sense you think of magic? I don't know, why can I not remember this book? But I just know that this cover is not the cover that I read, and it just doesn't... It just throws it off for you. It okay, throws but, it off. But, but is this a bad cover? No. Well, how many stars? If that's going to get more sales because of that cover. Yeah, what, like, what does this... Okay, so out of five? What are, what are we thinking here out of five for this thing? I'm going to say three. I actually think this is a good cover. Um, I think it's better than either of the two that I've had out so far. Interesting. Um... It doesn't grip me, but I don't think it's meant to because it's not. I'm not really the, the clientele for this. But I mm-hmm. think this may be a four stars for me. Wow. Uh, I think okay. it's it's a, a memorable cover. I want to um, read that again. Shoot. It could be good. Mm-hmm. All right. What do you got for me? Yes, I know you want to read that again. But what I do you know. got for me? Is there magic in it? Why can I? Why? Well, it does say she develops hidden talents with her true powerful voice. It sounds pretty magical, if you ask me. Okay. But it just look, doesn't look like she's like casting a spell though. Like that's yeah, and gooses are coming out of her hands, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know. All right. Okay. More Matt. This one, the Red Queen. The Red Queen. Um. That is blood dripping off a crown. Can, it is. Doesn't really focus in there, does it? You know, we could we could fix this. Let's let's just unblur some things here today. Hello, world. Hi. Sorry, you, you, need to do this all the you time. don't get the blurred background. It's just the background is meant to be blurred. And but it's, so it's a just cool here. background. You can't read anything otherwise. Oh, okay, fine. Anyway, bloody crown. Um, again, this may just be me. I don't know. The, the thing. I, it's a solid three for me. Maybe climbing up to a four. Okay. Um, I like it. I like the simplicity of it. Um, I it, it might just be that I look at this and be like, this isn't something I'd read. But, you know. Maybe it is. If I imagine it being more like a political thil- thriller, um, I could I could see myself enjoying it. So, um, not my necessarily cup of tea, but I think it's a quality cover. I think I'm going to go like three and a half stars. Okay. Is that a fair thing? Let's do three and a half stars there. My kids sure loved that cover when I read it. <laughs> All right. I got your turn. <sighs> That's a pretty lame cover. Wow. The stars are cool. The stars are cool. You know, that's pretty. <laughs> so, I I actually really like this cover. Um, I think the, the whole light changes everything with the stars, like uh, I, I think in the silhouette, I think it does a very compelling job of thinking, oh, I might want to read this book type of thing. Yeah. Now, I don't. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe that's my problem. Maybe I'm thinking, like, I don't want a Western. Like, maybe I just automatically, uh, I need to be better about because there's there's because of the the down here type yes thing. i can see that but i still think the cover's pretty good even this thing up here i don't love that um i don't it's not not the worst the like the thing around, around it. it i think i'd go three stars <laughs> it's, it's a quality one i actually think i like this better than the red queen oh i'm a sucker for stars though <laughs> constellations just i i like them they're pretty uh, and i like that the, the light and the, the, light the transition is, cool. is really cool um, I don't, okay, I don't I'm know, it's a very clean cover. I like three for that one. Okay, I w- I'm going to go three and a half. Oh. Three and a half. All right, what do you got? Scarlet. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. I do really like the, like, stylized cartoonish thing going on here, right? Um, it is very, kind of very clean, um, very interesting, um, uh, that the the cover is is made of something really interesting to hold. Mm-hmm. Um, it I think it, it clearly helps you identify the audiences for right. This really isn't for me. This is I think pretty clearly aimed at I would I would say teenage girls ish right uh-huh. would be would be kind of where it's at. Totally. Um, and and I think it clearly conveys that in a way that's interesting. Um, I think this might be like four and a half stars for me. It's not gripping enough there. I'm like, I need to read that book. But it, it definitely um, is, a, is a quality book. Interesting. I like the handwriting. The handwriting. The font, too, as well. Yep. You, you know what holds it back a little bit is this thing. Again. I think it's my turn. To, yeah. To... yeah. All right. Here we go. The house in the Cerulean Sea. Yes. What are you thinking? Oh, you thinking it looks here? so cool. Um, I've, 
I've seen this cover a million times online, but like seeing it in real life, you get all that detail. Yep. It looks really cool. Um, the colors are fun. It's a little bit like, almost looks a little bit creepy. I don't think it's a creepy book. Maybe it is. It is interesting. So I, I would not give it five stars. No, it's reasons. not five. Uh, first, it has this thing, but even more prominently than the other ones. Yeah. So it's like a almost a super annoying thing of like these first things are going to be beat up quite a bit so because of beat how to protect them. Yeah. Um, so that's that. It also has a very slick feel to it, like um, like more so than others. And and there's others like like Scarlet we had right is has got a very grippy matte mm -hmm. finish feel to it, but I this is just like slipping out of my hands all the time. So, um, mm -hmm. so it would be down to a four for me. I do love the geometric like cartoonish the, look here. Yeah. Um, that you see, I, I do love that. Like the buzz, I never noticed the trees. Yeah. I don't know. I, I I do like it. I mean, it, it is a quality thing. I think it's probably four stars. I'd say for four me. stars. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cute. 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 Okie dokie. Oh, Sarah J. Mouse. House. Mouse. Mouse. Sarah J. Mouse. <laughs> That's her alter ego. Um, House of Earth and Blood, uh, Crescent City. Like, this is a good cover. I will I will give props to whoever came up with this cover. This is a quality one. I think just off the bat, I would go with somewhere around four or four and a half stars here. Um, and uh, it, it feels great. Um, it's not doing the dumb thing that, that other things are doing. It is intriguing without, I think, giving too much of away, uh, if that makes sense. Like, you, you obviously get some sort of mystical, whimsical thing here. Um, uh, you, you get the House of Earth and Blood, which is a, you know, interesting... I, is that the subtitle? Is that the, the series title here? No, I'm not the really series sure. title is Crescent. So, um, yeah. so, so this is the title of the book. Mm -hmm. um, interesting. So it, it does kind of give some interesting things there. Um, you know, I think this is a four and a half star cover for me. This was, I'm not like big into covers. Covers don't do a lot for me. This is my favorite cover ever, except it doesn't really match the book. Oh, interesting. Well, in my opinion, that's a, uh, I guess that's one interesting. So thing. I would say five, but then once I read the book and I was like, wait. So, so do you get going down to four, like yeah, four and a half? Four and a half, half maybe. All right. So this might be it. the highest rated one we have so far. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Moving on here. So let's put this down here so this pile doesn't this fall off. All right, this one, Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. Oh, her hair is awesome. And uh, is that a necklace or a bra? <laughs> well, I've never considered that question. <laughs> I will inspect further. It's a dress necklace thing. Wait, a dress necklace thing? Like Look, the... it's like attached to her. Oh. Like a dress necklace thing. Yeah. Okay. Like I don't know. It's it's, it's clothing. Not a it's a dress that, that yeah. ties up in the back. Yes. Okay. Yes. Doesn't, it's not even on her boob. No. That's weird. It's because it's not a bra. Yeah. It's a dress necklace thing. Okay. Oh, sorry. I got distracted. Let me look at the rest of the cover now. Okay. Here. Sword. That's cool. Is she under a blanket or is that all of her dress? The dress is white at the bottom. Like that's all dress. I don't know. And that thing, is she singing them like singing ribbons or something? Breathing ribbons? Warbreaker. I don't like that, I mean, of all the people in the whole wide world, for their name to be just as big as the title, he deserves it, but, okay, maybe we should have been doing that more. But I like, mean, yeah. Sanjay Mouse is bigger than the Crescent City yeah, one? Yeah, you're right. I mean, what are we at? But here? like, doesn't it look like it's a continuation, it all goes, uh, maybe not. Hmm. I think it's really cool. I kind of just wish the wording wasn't so blocky. Mm. I don't know what the, it's just covering up so much of it. I agree with that. But I like her a lot. So having read this book and knowing it, I actually don't like this cover huh. hardly at all. Um, uh, I, I get maybe what the artist was attempting to do. Um, I also think Warbreaker is one of his lesser known novels. Um, it is in theory or, or I guess maybe technically um, a prequel to the Stormlight Archive. Mm -hmm. um, kind of. Uh, characters who appear in this also appear in the Stormlight Ar Archive, and uh, this kind of evolved out of it, and it's a, effectively a standalone novel. Um, but I think it is one of those where it didn't have necessarily enough momentum on its own to, to hold its own, so you do have, hey, this is a Brandon Sanderson novel. I don't know how many interruptions we're actually going to have, but a lot, apparently. Apparently. So, Warbreaker, not my favorite. Um, I'm going to go 
honestly probably the lowest out of this group, and I'm gonna go two and a half stars. Huh. I I just think she looks awesome. I I'll say three stars. Congratulations, woman. You uh, you look awesome apparently. Okay, what's what's the last one we have for our rankings here? Oh, it's so heavy. All right. Uh, Heritage of Shannara. Heritage of Shannara. The complete four book series all in one. Yeah, interesting. It's really heavy. Um, I kind of hate this cover. Huh, funny. I'm not super impressed with it. It's like a city within a city in a rock. Yep. I I just I just don't think that it would. I don't mind the city. I think the city and the city and the rock. It just it feels kind of redundant almost in in a way like you have a city but you're showing me another city yeah um and it has a rock um is it the same city in the rock i don't think so okay um, it's been a while since i read it i think that's an elf stone um and yeah it just it just just doesn't i don't know doesn't appeal to me at all i don't know if i would i why i would walk by it and be like oh that rock i want it hmm. um you know like that, that there's nothing Nothing there that really, really appeals to me. So I'm going to go two stars here. What's your visual lowest? Visual lowest of this group. I know nothing about this. I'm fine with three stars. You're, so, you're kind. You gave most things three stars. Yeah, it's like my Goodreads. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to be back in just a second with a cover that we love. And we'll talk about that. What if I already showed my cover that I love? That's too bad. Okay. All right, we're back. And we have two covers that I think are five stars. Really? You think mine's five stars? No, I don't. But I think you think it's five stars. Pretty dang close, if well, not five. All right. Why don't you go first? Okay. I've got the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So I am really not far into this. Hmm. But as much as I know about it, it's just the perfect cover ever. And it feels cool. It feels really, really cool. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, this is interesting. It's not like the grippy. No, it's like, of a, others, it's like but sandpaper it, almost. It does have this thing. Though. Yeah, I know. I, hate I, that. I can't give it a five star when it has this thing. We really can we do a whole video on that and how much? Yeah, but it, but what are we gonna do? We hate this. That's kind of the end of the video. Okay, so that's our video. On, um, Thanks for joining. Tap, but where did they come from and why are they? Here? I don't. I really don't know. Like it does it's give just, a splash of color, but it just no. There's a color. You don't need a splash of cover. Just, color on a cover. This is a really good cover. It is, and she's stunning. And she like, it's perfect. And I like that they cut off her face because sometimes I'm like, I'll look at the cover as I'm reading and be like, no, this doesn't really match this person or whatever. Yep. But because they cut off her face, the body is perfect. I don't know, that sounds whatever, but I love it. I really love it. Yeah. I'd get in a lot of trouble if I described it that way. <laughs> um, so mine is The Shadow of the Gods. Now, I haven't read this book, but I saw the cover and I needed it. Now, I have other books by John Gwynn. And so I probably would have gotten around to this, but just tell me that this isn't an amazing cover. First of all, it feels great. Ooh. Right? It feels very similar. Very similar. Very, very grippy. Funny. It does not have the thing image here. Yeah, I right? like you. So nice. The, the pages are nice. I mean, we're just talking about things. I also love the wraparound, right? Mm. So it's, it's not a different thing in the back. You're getting this whole picture as it comes around the entire thing. And you get this just like almost a promise coming from the cover of that you're going to get this scene with this freaking dragon and this tiny warrior thing person down here. Yeah, he's um, brought his sword. Right, and, and shield. Look, oh, look, oh, look at that. And and the eyes and the, the mouth, and you get like little spit things in the dragon's mouth. Like, it is awesome. Um, the other thing that I think is just a fine, nice detail is the flames in the text oh, of Shadow cool. of the Gods. Very cool. Um, which I think is really cool. And so, like, I guess the perspective is, you know, it sits back here on a bookshelf. As you walk by, like, that is a compelling, compelling cover. It really is. Um, and something I could really see myself enjoying the, the reading of. So, anyways, this is a five-star cover for me. Yeah, that, that gets five stars. For me. Um, I do love the, the cover of the, here, there's, there's just a few things I this don't enjoy. Thing, with it. Yes. Um, and I, I do wish, again, that it, took up all the real estate, right? Like it has like this. Had her butt but, on the other side? I mean, if we're talking about, yeah, sure, I'm just kidding. Um, no, but just like, you could continue a scene onto the other side, perhaps? Yeah. Um, or something? I don't know. I just, hmm. I do love covers that use all of it. I don't think a lot do, though. Like, I, I know, but uh, there's yeah. also very few five-star right. covers. You're right. Um, but the one thing I will say with this is, this looks like a innocuous enough book um, if that makes sense, 
that I could see myself being like, yeah, I could read that. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, there's the, the interesting thing is I think with this title, and I don't know much about the contents, but I think you could go in a way where it it almost doesn't feel gender neutral. Yeah. Um, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but it's instead, it's not like, oh, that's totally YA. Oh, that's totally fantasy. Like, there's or, a yeah, or, bit. or or that's gonna be totally romance, or mm-hmm. that's gonna be like you could go a bunch of these mm-hmm. ways. This feels. Um, clean, modern enough that, that it, it seems like something that anybody could read and Maybe enjoy. Maybe that's why everybody reads it. Uh, potentially. Yeah, cool. It might be. Um, great. So if, uh, I'd go four and a half stars for this. Yeah, I think so too. So just a little off of it. And this is five stars for me. Yep. How about you? Totally fine. Five stars. Uh, well, I don't know who John Gwynn has does, has does, who he has that does his covers, but this one is a winner. Do more of them, please. <laughs> and speaking of more, we have more videos uh, for you to check out. Everything from us guessing books from the first line of the book to us arguing about what the best Harry Potter book is, by the way, which is uh, four, Um, just in case you're wondering. You have too many fingers held up there. Anyways, like and subscribe and check out our other videos. We appreciate it. Tell us what your favorite covers are. Also, I almost grabbed Dune because people love Dune's cover, but we don't have a good Dune cover. Yeah, we don't have the good Dune cover. So that was stupid. True. Also, um, do you like seeing the background or not? Because I'm liking it. Let us know. Uh, I think it's distracting to see Dumbledore back there on the shelf, but that's just me. That's just that's just me. Now, if you can see the fellowship in the one of the pictures behind us, we'll give you bonus points. Comment and let us know what picture you think actually has the fellowship in it. And what ooh, should go right there? And what there used and there. to be here, and what should go here? Yeah, it, you know, the, let us know in the comments, and I don't know. Maybe we'll give you a reward of a shout out or something for the one person, <coughs> Sadie, who watches these. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, But yeah, uh, like and subscribe, and, and please check out our other videos. We'd appreciate it. Yeah. Bye.